Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see Manage DLP Alerts in the Microsoft Purview Compliance Portal. Well, as we all know, part of the DLP policy creation process involves determining if you want to notify anyone when policies are triggered. And we as an admin make those choices for each DLP policy rule we create. Now these alerts are displayed in the DLP alerts dashboard. The alerts are governed by setting we configure in the incident report section of each data loss prevention policy rule. And admins can use the dashboard to both view and manage the alerts as well. So we have the flexibility in defining when alerts are sent. One option is to send an alert every time an activity matches the rule. A second option is to only send the alert when a threshold, like the number of times the policy was violated. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. All right, I'm logged on to the portal. So if I show you an example, it is from the Microsoft documentation. So it shows the portion of the DLP policy rule configuration process where we specify incident reports. Send an alert to admins when a rule matches occurs, right? And then we have sent an email to send to this email address, which adds an alert to the DLP alerts dashboard. Now, anyone who has the access to view DLP reports will see the alert on the dashboard and only the users listed under send and alert to admins when a rule matches occur will receive an email. Okay. Now an email is produced and sent to the mentioned address when the high severity alert has been triggered based on the configuration. In this case, the activity that triggered the high severity alert was a DLP policy. The DLP policy included a rule with an endpoint DLP setting to trigger enforcement when content containing sensitive data was uploaded to the cloud. And when you will see the alert details in the notification, you see the DLP alerts view in the compliance portal. So if I go to the portal now, in the alert section under data loss prevention, okay, it will ask me to log in again. Let me refresh the token. Because none of I have not pushed out a policy or this is not the real environment, but you will get the gist that, okay, this is where you will see the alerts. Okay, now from here, you will be able to manage your DLP alerts in the Microsoft 365 Security Unified Alert List and more tools to investigate and remediate alerts at the instance level. Okay, so the idea was that we see that an event uh, maybe a file or a URL that included high volume of uh, the financial data that was copied to the cloud for which we created a DLP policies like I created one here, right? Uh, come up here. Okay, and the we as an admin can initiate a workflow to manage each alert to resolution or send an email to another user informing them of the DLP policy violation. This is what we are doing. So locations, policy setting, and this is where, right? And if you have it, you can send it to any policies and send, mention the email addresses that needs to be notified. Okay, I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.